Everyone calls me Wolverine. I don't remember other names. Let's do this. I didn't need the help. I was always better at this part than you. Yeah, the killing part? Day's gonna come, little brother. I won't always be there to help you. Don't worry, though. You're the same as me. You just don't know it yet. What don't I know? The tale of why the moon is lonely. No, why don't you enlighten me? The moon had a lover, Kwekuachu, but Trickster wanted the moon for himself. So he suggested Kwekuachu come to our world and pick her some wild roses. Never trust a guy named Trickster. Kwekuachu found out that once you leave the spirit world, you cannot return. So now he's trapped here, doomed to howl at the moon. Forever. Kukukachu got screwed. Kwekuachu, the Wolverine. Kayla, run. Don't ask why, just run. But Logan... Go! You. Hey, little brother. Long time no see. Logan, be careful! Kayla, stay back! Coming. Victor's appetites were becoming too public. We had to confine him. He felt betrayed, went AWOL, said he's coming for all of us. So you didn't come to warn me, you came to save your own ass. He killed Wade. You were supposed to be next. <laughs> What's your plan, Captain? I'm gonna find him and kill him. You already tried. You can't beat him, Logan. You know you can't. But there is another option. I can give you the tools to defeat him. I can promise you two things. Are you there, Logan? Can you hear me? 
hear me? Uh, who the hell are you? I'm Dr. Carol Frost, and I work for Dr. Cornelius. I think I can help you. What's happening to me? Uh. As an insurance policy against you escaping, Stryker had you injected with a bioenzyme. It just activated and destroyed your regeneration and feral senses. I can repair the damage, but you must meet me in my lab north of here. Well, why should I trust you? Because if you don't, you'll die. Oh, so you're my guardian angel, huh? I simply want to help. Wait! You don't understand! I want to stop the atrocities they're committing here, and I'm starting with you! What's that do? It will deactivate the bioenzyme. All right. Do it. You're safe now. If you go to the biomechanics lab, I'll repair your healing ability. Hey, Doc. This turns out to be a trap. I will hunt you down. Then I have nothing to worry about. I brought your things. There's not much time. Place your arms in that machine. Restraints engaged. Hey! Relax. This will reactivate your healing abilities. Open up! Open the door! Oh no, they're here already. I have to go, but I'll meet you at the neurochemistry lab. Good luck, Logan. <laughs> Somebody take my picture. They sure send me a copy. Logan, we have to hurry. Soldiers are on their way. Sit here. This machine will repair your hypersenses. Oh, great. I have to leave, but the procedure will only take a few minutes. When it's done, you can exit through that door. Thanks for helping me, Doc. Logan? There's a little girl locked up in this sector who needs help, too. Take her with you. Come on, I don't have time to play babysitter. Please, Logan. She's scheduled for termination. You have to help her. Please, Logan, she needs you. Who are you? I'm Logan. Who are you? Anna. Well, you must be the one Dr. Frost was talking about. Dr. Carroll said she'd come for me. <sighs> Let me see what I can do, kid. I did what you said, Mr. Logan. I kept my eyes closed and never looked up. Oh, good job, kid. I'm proud of you. Now, why don't we get you out of here, huh? I can help. I saw which way to go and they brought me in. Hey, what the... What the... Did you just teleport us? I moved us, if that's what you mean. Think you could move us through that door? Not right now. Moving us both makes me really tired. No problem. Just stay here while I go to that control room and open the door. I can get there by myself really quick. Wait, wait I can... Look out! We have the girl, Colonel Stryker. Ma, please, kid. Wake up. Can you hear me? What's going on? It's time to go. Okay. I'll try. No, wait. I'm sorry, Mr. Logan. Moving both of us is really hard. I need to rest. Don't worry about it, kid. Anna, you've got to escape. Move yourself as far away from this place as you can. You got it? I can't leave without you. Open fire! Oh, you gotta go. Anna, go! Oh. Take care of yourself, kid. Bye, Mr. Logan. Control! 
flood the spillway. But sir, men are still in there. You must have me confused with a commanding officer who repeats himself. Floodgates are now open. Notice, good people tend to die around you. You should stick with the bad, or more your speed. Africa proved otherwise. The jungle? You still crying in your beer over what we did there? Wasn't something I'm likely to ever forget. You actually think you're the good guy here. Do me a favor. Take a message to your boss. What's your status? I'll mail you back pieces of him. You ran on me. You tried to kill me. Now where's Victor? Look, come back to base and I'll tell you everything. We'll take Victor down together. Wrong answer. I'm going after Victor Creed. Logan, if you go down this road, you're not going to like what you find. After I kill Victor, I'm coming for you. You wanted the animal, Colonel. Oh, you got it. Now, to find Creed, I need the help of an old friend who knows all about disappearing. John Wraith. Wraith? Wraith? Uh, John, if you're here, you left your front door... open. You have one new message. John, it's Raven. You gotta be kidding me. Damn it, John, where the hell are you? I think I have a line on Creed. How could you, darling? You're dead. Ah! Uh oh, my, my, what, uh, how? Excuse me. Do you have level 5 clearance? Uh, yes, uh, of course, uh, but... Uh... Scan verified. Welcome, Dr. Lathrop. Thanks, Doc. Logan. You smell pretty good. For a corpse. After what happened in Africa, being dead was the best way of staying alive. What exactly did happen, darling? Team, we have a situation. Logan, you're closest to Nord's last known position. Go find him. Yes, sir. And Logan, if you see Raven Darkholm, Consider her compromised.
You'd have an easier time sneaking up on me, darling, if I didn't already know your scent. Like I was saying, you're supposed to be dead. I'm a lot of things. Things that need to remain secret. You're a mutant? <laughs> I should have known. What are you doing here, Logan? I heard your phone message to Wraith. I came here looking for Victor Creed. So this is all your fault. Wraith came here looking for Creed too. He got caught. Yeah. And now you're here looking for Wraith. Small world. But why? Here's a comm unit so we can keep in contact. We'll cover more ground if we split up. You gonna answer my question? Help me find Wraith, and I'll tell you everything you want to know. Find a way to open those doors while I see if I can go hack into their mainframe. All right, I'll help you. But then I'm going after Creed. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> you come down here and find out all mutants seem to labor under the impression that they're special better than humans homo superior bah i know the truth you're freaks of nature aberrations you're a cancer that must be eradicated before you kill off humanity bub you picked a real bad day to give me this speech get back freak you're nothing more than an animal that should be terminated! Then what are you waiting for? Shoot me! Welcome, Dr. Trask. Access granted. Doors unlocked. Let me patch into security cameras and find out. It's hard to tell. Let me check out the database. Oh my god. They did it. They built it. What did they build? A weapon designed to detect and terminate mutants. This is the Mark I Sentinel. It's big. I'll give him that. Logan, we're getting close. Wraith should be up ahead, beyond that nearby door. How do I know I can trust you, darling? You obviously don't remember Africa too well. Sarah found Nord. And Darkholm? Yep, found her too. And she's got a gun to your boy's head. Stand down, Colonel. We don't have time for this. Eliminate her, Logan. Logan, do you realize Stryker's asking you to commit a war crime? Ms. Darkholm is no longer entitled to the protection of the United States government. Eliminate her. Damn it, Logan. Do you even know what your mission is here? Logan, she's interfering with a mission-critical aspect of this operation. Yeah, I'm flagging the play on wholesale murder. Take her out, Captain. That's an order. <laughs> Sir, she's down. I'm disappointed, Logan. Wraith, tie her up. Logan, there's one more emitter to take down. Think you can handle that? Sir? Yes, sir. The last emitter's down. Dylan's popped up straight on my scanner. Send in the coordinates. So when are you gonna tell me why you're still breathing? You know the deal, Logan. First we find Wraith, then I'll tell you everything. He's going to those doors. <clears throat> Take care of this one. Come on. I would have 
figured a way in. You always knew how to make an entrance. Thanks. I was talking to her. She's rescuing you. You know she's still alive. Right, who do I have to gut to get some explanations here? No one. I promised you answers and I make good on my promises. I'm guessing you remember Africa. And the situation we found ourselves in with Raven here. Logan, move on those coordinates. Wraith, dispatch Ms. Darkholm with prejudice. Sir? We can't risk the mission. Take her out. Lieutenant? Double tap to the chest, sir. Subject is dead. I've never had a problem killing the enemy, but I draw the line at murder. There's nothing sexier than a man with a conscience. Africa was the beginning of the end. I quit a couple months later. I couldn't take rounding up mutants. Rounding them up? Why? Didn't stay around long enough to find out. Creed was the only one on the team that didn't seem to mind. Hell, he enjoyed that it. That bastard. Where were the mutants sent? Alkali Lake. This place and somewhere called the island. All right, that must be where I'll find Creed. Nord mentioned something about an island. Does that mean anything to you? Nope, but maybe Dukes knows. He and Nord used to be tight. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go pay Dukes a visit. If we can get to the roof, we can take a chopper off this rock. I could teleport Raven and me up top, but you're gonna have to get there on your own, Logan. Don't sweat it. Logan, you and Wraith can go after Creed, but you have to tell me where Alkali Lake is. I want to pay that mutant prison a visit. Will do. You be careful, Miss Darkholm. That's my son you're carrying in there. See you up top. What you think of the name, Kurt?
closer to town. Okay, Logan. I found Dukes for you. You're never gonna believe where Dukes hangs out these days. Or how big he's gotten. Hey, Dukes. Wow. It's been a long time. About 10 or 12 uh, hundred pounds ago. Maybe it's time to give the pork rinds a rest. So you've upgraded since Africa. Big deal. Speaking of big, you put on a little weight since Africa. Bob, I need to know where Stryker's Island is. And you're gonna tell me. So, Bob, tell me. What's this island? It's where Stryker takes mutants after Victor's caught them. It's like a supermax prison for the most powerful mutants. Rumor is Stryker does experiments on them there. I heard he was taking their powers. I'm trying to combine them somehow. I'm trying to combine them? They killed her so I'd let them put adamantium in me. They killed her for a goddamn experiment. Now where is it? Don't know. Stryker kept it secret. But I heard a prisoner named Remy LeBeau escaped. Guards called him Gambit because he kept taking their money in poker. Now he's doing the same to tourists in New Orleans. <laughs> but he's not gonna tell you a thing. Oh, he's gonna talk, all right. Nice looking place, but it's Bet you'll take care of that in a hurry. What, I get in fights with everybody? Let me put it this way. I'll go cover the back in case he rabbits. You Remy LeBeau? I owe you money. No. Then Remy LeBeau I am. So what brings you to our fair city, sir? Victor Creed. He's the man I'm gonna kill. Well, too bad for Mr. Creed then, eh? Works with a man named Stryker. Island. I need to know where it is. Mighty nice dog tags you got on. What? Look a lot like the ones the men who took me wore. Uh, wait, wait, I'm not... Two I'm... years I rotted in that hellhole. I ain't going back. Won't give up yet, huh, my friend? Now I'm just getting started. Whoa! Why'd you save me? You're no good to be dead. I need info on the island. Why? Because I'm looking to find Creed and Stryker and end them. A lot of men tried that, and a lot of men died. Well, I got an edge. That you do, mon frere. You really gonna kill them? They must have wronged you pretty bad. It's a long story. Good. It's a long trip to the island. You can tell me on the way. Five hostiles visible from this side. Easy. Low-level mercs. No training. Is Creed in position? You ready, Victor? Oh, yeah. It's hunting season. You go in easy, Victor, get me? The Wraith, shut him down. This rock isn't tin. 
Ask him where this rock came from. He says that rock is special. He says it came from the sky. He's telling the truth. Shut it, Logan. You don't speak the language. No, but I can smell a lie. It's a media fragment. Tell him that rock is more important to me than his life. Can't say I didn't try to be nice. Don't even think about it. What the hell are you doing? Not be a part of this. I didn't sign up for this. Yes, you did. <laughs> Back off, Wade. My brother, my responsibility. And my command. Before I gut you, I want to know why. Logan, welcome back to the war. We needed your powers for the pool, the mutant killer, the dead pool. <laughs> it was surprising how easy you were to trick. Who are you? Raven? She's real, old friend. It's her. Tell him about the day you died. They gave me a syringe full of hydrochlorothiazide. Reduces the heartbeat to almost zero. Breathing virtually stops. You flatline for six minutes. Kayla's a credit to your race, Logan. She's got the mutant gift of telehypnosis. The ability to influence people through physical contact. It was never real. It was real for me. I don't want to terminate you, Logan. There is another option. You can live knowing the woman you love didn't care about you. Or... Or what? We erase your memory. All of it. That story you told me. About the guy who goes to get flowers for the moon. I had it backwards. I thought you were the moon and I was your wolverine. But you're the trickster, aren't you? And I'm just the fool that got played. No, Logan. Let's do this. Every memory you ever had will evaporate like it never happened. Good. What if this doesn't work? An adamantium bullet to the brain will erase every memory. Please, don't do this! I've done everything you've asked! You said you'd let her go! I'm gonna end you. Come on. I heal up just like you. Do you even know how to kill me? I'm gonna cut your goddamn head off to start. See if that works. <laughs> you know why I piss you off so much? Because at heart, I'm exactly what you are. An animal. Go ahead. Finish it. No, Logan, you're not an animal. And I didn't trick you into loving me. Even when I wasn't near you, you loved me. You're alive because of her. I'm sorry. Stryker is holding my sister prisoner. He was going to kill her if I didn't do as he said. Wait, is that you? Kayla, go save your sister. I'll take care of this. Well, you used to be more chatty than this. I guess you're not the merc with the mouth anymore. All right, if that's how you want to play it.
to keep me here until the tower collapses and kills us both? The thought occurred to me. Why didn't you kill me, Jimmy? The real reason. As much as I hate to admit it, we're brothers. Yeah, we are. And while you try to hide it, we're both animals. I am nothing like you. So get used to it. I've got to find Kayla. You know what, pal? I'm always gonna be around to remind you exactly what you are. talk about this at home men like us don't get to go home maybe you should turn that gun on yourself <sighs> just leave head south Walk till your feet bleed. <laughs> you always wanted to forget what you did. But if you do ever remember me, remember, I always loved you. since way back then. Sometimes I wish I could forget all the years since, too. So many dead. So much lost. I still have work to do. I suppose I should thank you. When you destroyed my center, you forced me to rethink my assumptions about robotics and prosthetics. What the hell are you talking about, Bub? I'd heard you took an adamantium round through your thick skull. Guess you don't remember. Pity. I plan on doing some very bad things to you. So much better if you remembered why. Guards! Guards! <laughs> Sure as hell didn't work out like we planned. But that doesn't mean giving up. This world may be broken, but I've got just the tools to fix it. Oh. 